Hello, my beautiful, lovely ladies. I feel so happy every time we meet. There is no greater happiness for me than to give you so much joy and understanding of yourselves. Indeed, being here on Earth is an opportunity to learn more about ourselves. This is what we are going to do today. Look, I am holding a glass of water in my hand. Now imagine that the life of every person born into this world is like the clear water. The color of water comes from the colors we add to it. Or rather, it is from experiences that happen in our life. God gives us a wide palette a variety of colors, many experiences, many life situations. For some people, life is always in black color. They get only negative influences, only bad things, or it is exactly what we think about them. This is when the clear water turns to black. and we are beginning to look at the whole world through the lens of such water. We feel like nothing in our lives works out for us. We feel like we are not worthy of love, but things are not always as they seem. My dear ladies, each of us is born with tremendous potential. Unfortunately, in real life, some situations can knock us off balance. For instance, as a child, a girl can be cheerful, happy, and can have great potential in life. But someone at school tells her that she is not pretty. And the girl begins to think of herself as not beautiful. Or they tell her she has no ear for music or she cannot dance or move. The woman then crushes her own future where she could rejoice and dance, where she could rejoice and sing. Every such situation is like black color that is added to the infinitely beautiful source of our feminine power. Instead of pure or bright splendid blossoms, we get black energy. My dear ladies, today we are going to overcome these influences. How do we get rid of them? With the help of love, as nothing else can remove such influences in our lives. I'll tell you a secret, though. When everything around you seems to be going wrong, when the world seems to go against you, when such black water rises up, practice one magical thing. It is true magic. Although now the world gives too little attention to it, you need to dance. Tell me, do you like to dance? How often do you dance? That is where the secret lies. Imagine, in ancient times, Shiva, lord of the dance, performed Tandavi, a magical dance in which the universe was created. Shiva danced in Ananda Tandavi, or a dance of bliss, and in Rudra Tandavi, or a dance of destruction. And what Tandavi are you dancing now in your life? Let's dance a special Tandavi which will remove all negative influences in our life and will allow us to arrive at the blissful state. So Shiva, as the Lord of Dance, Nata Raja, created the universe. Why can't we make our own universe? Build our new life. My dear ladies, I recommend that you perform daily divine Natam a divine dance. Devote the first dance to God. Dance, rejoice, send blessings, and send love to God. Devote the second dance to all guides of God here on earth, spiritual teachers who have been incarnated on earth, spiritual advisors, shamans, those who came to this world to make it better and to teach people wisdom. While dancing, you dedicate your blessing, 
your love to your spiritual teachers. Perform your third dance selflessly, sending your love to the whole world. Maybe you will do the dance and send love only to your loved ones. Or maybe you will expand slowly to the extent where you will be able to send love to the whole city, then the whole country, and then to the entire universe. Trust me, the entire universe will surely return an echo of love to you. You often ask me about the best music for dancing. You know we have our students in different countries who are so inspired by energy to help others, by divine love, by energy of development that they compose special divine chants. If you have a talent for singing or writing poetry, if you want to praise God, praise a supreme power, praise spirits, do not hesitate to contact me. Your divine chanting may awaken the most sublime emotions in people. If you do not have such divine chants in your language yet, please find songs that glorify God and love. Such songs could light your heart up so much that it will bring tears of grace to your eyes. It is very important for such songs and lyrics and music to be emotionally charged, as it will make your dance truly divine. I recommend that each of you have your own personal collection of songs that will lift you up to the top of love. I am more than sure you will do great. By the way, let's do the thing right now. If you find such songs in your own language, please make sure to send them to me so I could share these divine songs with other women. All right? Great. Let's make every woman's world a much better and happier place. So, my dear ladies, do you remember that it is very important to dance like the Lord of Dance, Shiva Natara? Raja and perform Divine Natam, today I am going to teach you a special practice as we are preparing ourselves for an important webinar in our life, Acceptance of Yourself. This means acceptance of yourself in all aspects, acceptance of your body, your emotions and thoughts, acceptance of your feminine power and your destiny. It is important to let yourself relax, eliminate all stressful situations, and accept yourself in your divine individuality in which God created you. In this practice, I am going to use a special magical amulet. This is a very ancient shamanic amulet of power that protects against various influences. These influences could have happened in your childhood, or they are the influences that are still happening in your life, at work, in your family life. These influences will go away and will have no effect on you through your suppression of your individuality. I will be holding the amulet in my hands throughout the entire ritual. My dear ladies, Take a deep breath and exhale. Close your eyes. Hear the sounds of space music of transformation written in such a way that the musicians of this world are still trying to understand how the magic of this music impacts our brain. How is it written to combine so many sounds? That's because it is the music of spheres, space music. Listen to this healing music with every single cell in your body. Now take a deep breath and exhale. Feel like an adult woman 
or like a little child. You will be diving from one age to another age. Now breathe deeply. Remember the situations when you were under an influence which left a deep mark on your heart. Maybe when you were a little girl and you wanted to tell a poem at a children's party for your family, but you were not understood. You were criticized or you forgot the text and were ridiculed. And now you feel that this influence still affects you like dark currents coming to you. Your whole body begins to contract. Your heart is pounding. The tears may start welling up in your eyes. You are short of breath. You feel resentment toward the whole world. You feel resentment toward the people closest to you, but they did not mean to hurt you. They did not wish you any harm. Some evil spirits manifested through them. Now, remember that amulet of power which I showed you in the beginning? Feel me putting the amulet in your hands. It begins to radiate such pure light that no influence of the past, present, or future is capable of affecting you. You begin to grow up. You can see yourself in different situations at school when, for example, someone laughed at the way you were dressed while you just wanted to stand out from the rest and express your individuality. Or maybe you said the wrong thing, did not do classwork correctly, and you were bullied or judged. The influence from those people starts to flow in you. You feel dark energy coming at you. But the amulet of power in your hands creates a very powerful circle of protection around you. A golden sphere that pushes all influences away. You grow up further. The first partner who you met might not have appreciated your feelings, or someone might have made fun of your first crush and strong emotions. And you feel that you have been judged, mocked. Dark rays are trying to enter you. Feel the power of the magical amulet in your hands. It radiates its protective light and creates a powerful energy shield around you. You continue your life's journey. You find yourself facing difficult situations at work. You may encounter misunderstanding and judgment from your co-workers or your boss, or you may find it hard to accomplish your tasks. Once again, you feel your body contracting and your heart pounding. You cannot cope with this influence judgment, criticism, and misunderstanding. You do not know what to do. This is the moment when the spirit of the magical amulet comes to help you. 
immediately feel its protective power over you. Your body feels relaxed, your breathing becomes smooth and calm. The power of the amulet gives you a sense of confidence. You get a fresh burst of energy. Your body feels relaxed. Your emotions calm down. Your mind is in harmony. You feel your divine potential. Whatever happens, always remember the power coming from magical amulets that give you protection, support, relaxation, and stability. Please, thank my magical amulet I pass to you during this ritual. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Open your eyes. I can feel how hard you have tried in this practice. I thank my magical amulet that has given each of you so much strength, support, and removed the influences of the past. We are affected by influences every single moment of our lives. But if we have a very powerful protective amulet that creates a protective energy shield, then we have nothing to be afraid of. My dear ladies, email me and send me your photo, which will help me choose your personal magical amulet just for you, for your energy structure. After today's session, many of you will ask me where you can read about influence, about the dark forces that affect us. The answer is very simple. Read The Call of the Spirits, Authentic Shamanism. This book will answer most of your questions. How to prevent your water of life from turning black. How to keep it always bright, shining, and sparkling. Our next session will be devoted to awakening your inner luminous source of power. These two sessions are the basic preparation for the main work on accepting yourself, accepting your feminine power, accepting your feminine destiny. I am also preparing myself for this webinar, which I will present very soon. In this webinar, we will learn a lot of useful and important things about ourselves. My dear ladies, keep dancing, protect yourself against influences, may your life be filled with true happiness. Spirits of Ritual Amulets contacted for opening the road of predestination and for protection from external influences and karma of past generations are waiting for you at the seminar. The power of the spirits is calling and awaiting you along with your friends and acquaintances. We are waiting for you at the seminar guided by the spirits.